Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials, we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. In this video tutorial, we will talk about Joomla multi-language system, which allows you to organize manual translation of the site into several languages. By manual translation we mean that a person and not an automatic translation will be directly translate text and other content. The video tutorial contains basic principles of setting up built-in multi-language tools in Joomla. But for each specific site this process can be different quite a lot. It depends on extension used on the site and other features of each project. On my demo site there are several pages like homepage, blog, blog post and contacts. Also here we have some modules. This site have one language, it's in English, and I will show you how to add another language. For example, I will add Ukraine language. This is my native language, but adding another languages is the same. So, first of all, let's go to system and install new language. Let's find our language. Just click install it and wait. After installation go to system, here in content language, just enable second language and now go to system, plugins and find language filter plugin. In the next video tutorial we will talk about some of these settings and now just enable this plugin. Let's start with content categories. Go to first category, here select language, this is category in English, so select English language. Now just save and copy and now you need to translate this title and also I prefer to delete alias, just translate it in your language, in my case this is Ukraine language, and here select Ukraine language. Also don't forget to publish it. After this go to Association tab and select an English category which will be associated with this Ukraine category. In my case it's in four. In this way you connect English category to Ukraine category. This is very useful for users and search engines. For user, when the user switch from one category to another by switching from one language to another, he will go to the same category but on other language. For search engines Joomla will add special tag and search engine, for example Google or Bing, will know that this category in English have the same category in Ukraine and so on. Now let's do it with blog. Select English, save as copy, rename it in new language in Ukraine, select necessary language, publish it, and connect English category to Ukraine category. Here we can see that for info and blog categories in English we have English language, for Ukraine categories information and blog we have Ukraine language and we have connect Ukraine category to English category. In the next video tutorial I will show you how to use these automatic actions, for example to change language, copy categories, but now 
I will show you just how to copy and translate them. Now we need to translate our articles. We have three articles in blog category and one article in info category. Now they are all in all languages, but we need to change it to English language. Just do like this with all of these articles. I changed all languages. With batch operation it will be much more faster, but I promise you that in the next video tutorial we will work with batch operation. Now we need just basic information. Go to home, just save it as copy, select Ukraine category, select Ukraine language, translate title, delete alias, translate all of this content. How to work with this editor we already saw in previous video tutorial. Also, if you need to change some intro or full article image, just do it. Change image description, change some settings here, for example, change read more text or browser page title, you need to translate it. Also, don't forget to translate description and other information from English to Ukraine. How to work with these tabs we already saw in previous video tutorials and now just save and as we set associations with categories we need to do the same with articles. Just select home page, save and now we can see that there is English homepage in info category in English, it has English language and associated with Ukraine homepage and it have category information in Ukraine and also have Ukraine language and connect with home in English. In this way you need to do with all these articles. So all of these actions that we do with this page we need to do with these articles. You need to copy, change the language, translate it and connect to the same article but on other language. As you can see I have translated all my articles to Ukraine language, set Ukraine language and connect it to the English version of this page. Also, don't forget I change category for Ukraine articles to Ukraine categories. Also here we can see that I have contact form. How to create contact form we already saw in previous video tutorials. Also if I will update the page nothing had changed here because our multi-language settings are in progress. So let's translate contact categories. Go to component, contact, here are our categories, here is our contact category, just select language and save a copy, translate the title, delete alias, publish it, change the language and here we need select English version of this category. So the actions are the same. Now let's go to contacts. Here we also need to change language, save a copy and translate all other fields. I translate all these texts. Also need to change category, language, publish it, save and here I need to select this contact in English. So all the actions are the same. Now let's work with menus. How to work with menus we already saw in previous video tutorials, now we will translate it. Go to manage and create new menu for Ukraine language. Just add menu title and unique name. Save it. Here, as you can see, there are no language settings. Now let's go to main menu and let's copy this menu item. For example, go to home, save as copy, 
translate the title. Here we need to select not this main menu, but new main menu on Ukraine language. Select Publish, select Language, this is Ukraine menu language, also select New Home page in Ukraine, and just save it. As you can see here in our Ukraine menu, we have our Ukraine menu item, and here we can see our English menu items, but now it's all in all languages. Go to this menu item and repeat the same actions. For example, save as copy, translate it, select Ukraine, publish it, select language, select blog category in Ukraine, save it, and repeat for contacts. As you can see, we have three menu items here and three menu items here. Now, mark the main page for Ukraine as the home page. Here we can see new mark Ukraine. This is Ukraine language tag. Here we can see Ukraine flag. So with this menu we already finished, but we have no associations. Let's go to main menu. And now if I want to change language for this home page, this is default home page for all languages. I will have an error. For example, let's choose English, save, and we have this error message. What we can do? Go to Manage, create new menu, name it, for example, Hayden. You can set any menu title. But this menu title won't show on the side. This is just for service needs. Save it. Go to main menu. Go here. And save a copy. But here in hidden menu. Just publish it. Here it is. Pay attention. This menu item is for all languages. Now mark it as home. This will be home page for all languages. In most cases I leave the name and alias just like this. Here we can see hidden menu have this mark. Now go to home here and change language to, you, to English. Set association and repeat it for this page and this page. As you can see, I set languages for these menu items. Also, I connect them to Ukraine menu items. And now I can change the home page for English. Just click here. Now you can see this language flag this mark here on the side. We don't see any changes, that's ok. And now let's see how we can translate our modules. How to work with modules you can watch in previous video tutorials. And now let's go to each module, change its language, it will be English. Now create its copy, it will be in Ukraine. Change this text. Don't forget to publish it and change the language. As you can see, there are no association here, so just leave like this. Now let's go to main menu, change the language, save a copy, translate the title, publish it, select our menu, this will be our Ukraine menu, 
select the language, save it, and change the last module, login form, it will be in English. Save a copy, translate the title, publish it, and set as Ukraine. If you have some settings here, change it for Ukraine language. Here we can see our modules, they all translate, here we have no changes. Now let's go to System, Site Template Styles. How to work with Site Template Styles we already saw in previous video tutorial. Now let's look how we can translate it. As we saw with Menus, here we can see Home page for all languages and Home page for Ukraine and English language. The same thing with styles. Here we can see default page for all languages. Here it is. Now let's save a copy. It will be in English. Change language to English. Change menu associations. We need to select all English menu items. Here we can see our options, we will leave it like that. And now let's have new copy. It will be in Ukraine language. Change to Ukraine. Change here. And change this text. Just save it. Here we can see our flags. And the last step, go once more to Site Modules and create new module, Language Switcher. With this module we will work in next video tutorials. Now just enter the title, I will hide it. I will place this module something, somewhere here. Pay attention, I won't change the language, I will leave it just like this on all. Also, this module will be visible on all pages. Just save it. And now let's check our site. We have the English version here. And we have language switcher here, so we switch to Ukraine and we'll see our pages, but in Ukraine language. If I switch to English version, I will see the same page, but in English. Also here in blog, what's new in Joomla 5 and 4.4, switch to Ukraine, and we can see the same article, but in Ukraine. In the next video tutorial we'll look at the tools that will speed up multi-language setup. We'll also talk about System Language Filter plugin and Language Switcher model. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexey, see you soon in new tutorials.